Examples of unnatural bets are if somebody bets into a preflop raiser on the flop. Remember, most people have the natural tendency to check to the preflop raiser, either to check and fold, check and call, or check raise. So when someone bets, it's a little bit strange. They usually have a reason for betting. They're thinking, all right, there's a preflop raiser, but I'm going to bet anyway. That makes it unnatural. A second kind of unnatural bet is if someone checks and calls, say, on the flop, a blank or a, a card that's seemingly unimportant comes up, and then they bet out on the turn. It would be the natural action to check, and again, either check, call, check, raise, but certainly not bet. Why would you bet when a blank comes? The person who bet the flop is very likely to bet again on the turn, so if you had a good hand, you'd probably check raise. Betting out in that situation generally means that someone has a weak hand and is trying to bluff. Here's a little example. Two players limp, and you're next with pocket jacks. Jack of hearts, jack of diamonds. You raise, the big blind calls, and the two limpers call. Flop comes, queen of spades, eight of hearts, seven of spades. So there's a flush draw, and you don't have the jack of spades. The big blind bets. Remember, you raised before the flop, but now the big blind is betting. Both of the limpers fold, so it's just you heads up with the big blind. What should you do? Well, what you do depends strongly on what the big blind might have. If the big blind has a queen, you should fold, because you're drawing to only two outs. The big blind has a flush draw, you should at least call and probably raise. If you just called, it would be with the intention of getting him to bet it again on the turn so you could raise then. If you didn't have any more information about what he had, just that he bet, you might have a tough decision. If he's got a queen, I gotta fold. If he's got a flush draw, I gotta raise. You don't really know what he has, so you don't know what to do. The fact that his bet is fishy because he bet into the preflop raiser should tend to lead you to the conclusion that you should raise. When people bet into the preflop raiser on a board like queen 8 7, where there's two spades and there's a possible straight draw around the 8 and 7, they often have a draw, either the flush draw or the straight draw. It's less likely that they have a queen, because if they had a queen, they'd be worried about other people on the draw. Since you were the preflop raiser and you acted last, they might well try to check raise you. Since they bet into the field, they're not that worried about someone raising with a better hand. They're probably not worried because they have a draw, not a hand themselves. So when they bet, everybody folds, and it's to you, even though there's an overcard to your jacks, you should probably raise. And if you don't raise, you should probably plan to raise if a blank comes on the turn.